Hey friends, welcome to my channel. This video is the part of a personal finance related series on my channel. Probably I have already created a separate playlist called Money. Go on and check it. Have you noticed this guy? No, not this one, but this one. Do you know what is that? That's a coin keeper. I will show you how it works. Just a moment. Just take a look. You put a coin here. Then you press the button here. Let's try once again. Again. Bingo! Financial health is a conscious, goal-oriented relationship with money that is satisfying and not too stressful, says financial psychologist Brad Klotz. It includes the understanding that funds will be needed not only now, but also in the future and also the ability to distinguish between what you really need and what you just want. It is really easy to understand if you have healthy relationship with money, just check the list. Spend money based on your inner values. Have no or almost no debt. Save up to achieve your goals. Have financial contingency insurance. In contrast, if you spend a lot of unneeded constantly owe someone, do not save for important goals and for a bad day, your relationship with money can be called healthy. Let's understand that limit us to getting healthy with money. Before we proceed, I will tell you one explanation. Financial scenarios are beliefs about the money that further guide our economic decisions. They are formed through personal experience, family stories, and parental attitudes. And more often than not, we don't even notice them. According to Claude's, some scenarios become the cause of the low of income in life. For example, people with avoidance scenarios refuse great offers, unconsciously try to get rid of money, mostly by spending. People with the scenario of the ification of money are prone to unjustified financial risks, the desire to earn as much as possible, for example, through gambling or permanent job. They want to buy a lot and often accumulate debt. Public opinion also influences the perception of money. Sometimes it creates the feeling that it is impossible to achieve financial well-being in a certain field of activity. If you are used to hearing that everyone in your profession is paid very little, you start to believe in it. Good news! You can change the situation. There are only four simple rules you need to follow. First rule – never spend more than you earn. It may be difficult to understand how to spend more than you earn, but nowadays there are a lot of loans available and people tend to use them frequently. When you spend more than you earn, you will always be a slave to money. You will have to live from paycheck to paycheck or even borrow the money. Introduce the rule. On payday first of all, set aside some of the funds and pay bills, and only then plan how to spend the rest. Do this every month. Second rule. Sing of money as a tool. We often repeat the phrases, I wish I had more money, implying that more money will solve all your problems. We turn finance into an end in itself. Also, it is just a tool to achieve what you want. Primarily think about your actions and its outcomes. Don't believe your impulse emotions. This will protect you from spendings. In my video about 11 lists I use daily, I told you about the wish list I use. Before I make a decision about whether to buy or not to buy, I put a thing on the list. I come back to that list later, maybe two weeks after, and if I still feel need of that thing, I buy it. Think about what really matters to you, what you need money for, then set your priorities. 
Keeping this goal in mind and seeing money as a tool to achieve it, you can save on cafes and other small entertainments. Third rule, don't reward yourself with shopping. Financial decisions often depend on mood. If we feel bad, we buy something to comfort ourselves. But when we feel bad, don't forget that we usually make bad financial decisions. If we have achieved something, then we reward ourselves with a pleasant acquisition. As a result, there is always a reason to spend money on something new. Learn to notice these triggers and not reward purchases. Stop yourself when you feel the momentary desire to acquire something. Fourth rule, understand yourself. It is important to understand what can easily lead to debt. Think about what you are missing, what you are trying to make up with your purchases. For example, you cannot go to a mall without purchasing a ton of unnecessary items. Perhaps the reason is that you are lonely, you are jealous of others or trying to drown out self-doubt with things. Identify the root and look for a healthy way to combat it. Analyze your experience. What's your happiest memory of money? What is the most painful? The answers to these questions will clarify a lot. You will see how your scenario developed and how it influenced your decision. I wish you a healthy relationship with money. Thanks for watching and don't forget to constantly evolve. Bye-bye.